Duke Divinity Professor Norman Wurzba says that one of our biggest temptations in life is to think that we live alone. This temptation can lead to either despair, the feeling that we do not belong or matter, or arrogance, the presumption that only we matter. And in our screen-driven, algorithmically curated existence, it's not hard to see this in action. And though this is a big picture statement, he is speaking in the context of gardening being an antidote for this kind of experience. Gardening of all things. He goes on to say, gardening work addresses both these dangers by bringing us face to face, fruit to mouth, hand to soil, and nostril to flower with the larger realities of plants and animals that literally feed us. Working in the dirt, we know with our hands and with our stomachs, and not merely with our heads, that we belong to a membership called creation. And this all brings us back to our origin question in this series about how we view this world. If we see it as a creation, and ourselves as members of this creation, this gift of divine creative love, then our participation in the world gives us freedom to experience something of the nature of God more deeply than we could on our own. Jesus uses gardening and agricultural references often in his parables, uses the uncertainty of seeds growing to teach lessons of faith. And according to our creation story, the first human vocation was to be gardeners. So perhaps that is partially why there are so many spiritual lessons when working the soil. We are in some way connecting back to the core of our identity as caretakers, cultivators, and members of creation and we are reminded of our membership in creation, that we are all connected, that what we do matters and has meaning, not just in our own lives, but in the life of the creation around us and the members therein, whether they be plants, the earth, or other people around us. And that we also shouldn't take ourselves too seriously as being the sovereign lords over our lives or over others in this world. There's much to learn in the everyday in our lives, and that includes things like gardening. <laughs>